Yo! Alright guys, CS Fresh. Back with something a little different today. It's still Daisy gameplay, but with a twist. Um, and it's not only Daisy gameplay, so I'll, I'll leave that for you guys to think about. Um, this is basically, it may look a bit different, uh, the gameplay. It's now in full 1080, um, high um, graphics. The sexy shit. Uh, I recently got a G4 660Ti, I got the game with Phantom model, and um, let me tell you that thing is big, black and sexy, and in case you're wondering, no, it's not a dude. It's something a million times better than that. Um, I just recorded some gameplay on it, it's pretty random, I was just walking about and I thought, I need to record some gameplay, what can I do? And I saw this chopper, and I basically recorded my venture towards the chopper, really. Um, yeah, this graphics card is amazing. Uh, I used to be running on a GT440 in Asus model, and um, it was good for what I wanted it to do. It ran all games on like normal, so it was alright. But for recording things like that, it was a pile of steaming shit. Whereas this card is literally like the gods have pissed down like awesomeness onto my computer, and now it's just fucking insane. Like this thing is outstanding. This like I, I was a bit. I was a bit on the edge of which graphics cards to choose. I was going to go for the Superclocked EVGA model, 660Ti, but then I decided that... Well, I was going to go with that because it was a cheaper one. And I didn't want the standard one because the standard one just sounded wank to me. Don't know why I just did. <laughs> so, and then I found the uh, 660 Phantom going for 250, 250, 253 I think, 256. Fucking jump straight on that bitch, bought it. Um, got next day delivery, standard. Um, got it plugged in and play yesterday, and I haven't been able to get off any game. Um, Daisy, yeah, if you're wondering about frame rates, um, I've literally got everything set to the highest possible setting. Um, I've apart from anti-aliasing, I think that's only on high because it goes like low, very low, uh, low, medium, high, very high, and then it goes into like the times eight, times sixteen, all that shit. Forgive me, guys. Um, and yeah, um, I'm running at this setting now, which is pretty much what I explained there. I'll write it down in the description as well in case you missed it. I'll have a more detailed description of the actual settings I'm using. Um, when I'm not recording, it's 30 to 60 frames, like anywhere between those. It de depends on the server, because I have joined servers where I'm getting like 15 to 30 frames, but that is obviously dependent on the server. I don't know why, but it's obviously some server side issue. I don't know why it does that. Um, I, don't, I honestly could not tell you, but I've been told by many people that Laggy gameplay, low frame rates can be caused by servers. I mean, it is a mod after all. So, but I did play on the uh, British mod, uh, not the British mod, the British pack, British DLC for Armour too, and I was running on 30 to 60. Then recording, I was running 25 to um, 40. So yeah, um, it's pretty much the same. If you get a, if you like, so I know that the frame rates I was getting there reliable. And um, if you're thinking that's a bit low for a graphics card of this uh, this stature. <laughs> It will be because of my quad core Fenim processor, I've got 965 3.4, so it may be a bottleneck, I, I don't know how to create that stuff guys, but maybe a slight bottleneck, um, it is outdated. Ivy Bridge would probably gain me between another 5 and 10 FPS, which I'm looking to invest in one of those, so I might go for Christmas, I don't know. I might get someone to buy me one, you know, new air. i 730 770k, why not, you know, nice sabre tooth from overboard, fuck it. If I can get those, I'm guessing my FPS will go up between 5 and 10, maybe even, maybe even 15, but... 5 or 10, even 5 man, I'd be happy with that. So I can get like a 30 FPS minimum while recording. Uh, whereas like, um, I did play a lot of other games though, just get some readings. I was playing like Left 4 Dead at like 130 frames, I was play and that's like high settings. I was playing um, Alan Wake at like 90 frames. Um, it's going to jump to another game now. Wait. Oh no, it's not. Oh, premature. Isn't that embarrassing? Ah. But yeah, um, I was playing Space Ring because Space Ring is just fucking awesome for ripping shit up. Space Ring was running at like 100 frames, I think, over 100 frames. Maybe about between 70 and 100, I believe. And um, that's max sense as well. We've got Dawn of War 2, uh, the Armour games, Dawn of War 2, Borderlands, uh, Brink, Gallon Wake games, um, War Armour games, Dawn of War, Space Marine, Tropica. Literally fucking anything the gaming world has to offer. Crisis 2, um, max settings with 4 times any LARs in. Um, 16 times, whatever the fucking one's called, AF. Hands drop filter in, that's the one. 55 frames. Drops to 50 occasionally. That's literally it. It runs smooth as shit. 
that thing is amazing. And um, like, I'm, uh, Crisis One, I can still I was running that high on. I could run on high anyway because it's quite an old game. But I mean, it looks even better now with this graphics card. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I do believe that my graphics card, uh, my graphics card, my CPU and my motherboard are letting me down a bit though. But um, it's not to worry. Um, um, Daisy looks fucking amazing. I absolutely love it. Like now I can see textures. Um, trees look fucking real, man. Trees, mate. I've never got a burner over a tree until now. I know it's fucking weird, but it gave me wood. Get it? Tree? Wood? Hey? Eh? Reference? Yes. <laughs> Bushes? A hey, bush, right? Eh? Um, no, I'll stop. <laughs> Everything. T um, terrain. The way the characters look. This ghillie suit. The, gu the weapon on my back. I don't know. Like, so I obviously, I said my other graphics card shit, and it was 440. Very fucking old. The L85 looks absolutely, like, amazing now. The... The RIS rails, the the scope, the the entire model of the gun looks fucking outstanding with these this, this, this amazing like graphics card. It's absolutely unreal. In case you're wondering about the uh, speeds of the graphics card, like air uh, clock speeds or anything like that. And um, the core clock is 1006, and uh, that's just like standard. And uh, the boost goes up to 1084, which is always nice to get a crash, uh, smashing a couple more FPS there. It's got 1344 CUDA cores. Uh, the memory type is 192-bit uh, GDDR5, if you didn't know that then you should probably get the fuck out, I mean come on everyone knows that, even I know that. Um, the size obviously the memory is 2 gigs, uh, the effective memory si uh, size is 6008 obviously, come on. The power up to 4 displays, max, res max digital resolution of 2560 by 1600 max analog, oh I don't even fucking care what analog, fuck it. Uh, it says max GPU temp, nah, it's 7, that's about right, man's never ran above 70, I mean it's got the phantom cooler. It, it literally is the best thing ever. Um, yeah, obviously it's a 660, so it comes with things like Physics. Uh, I haven't got a Physics game at the moment. I mean, Daisy is a good game, but it's a fucking cunt to run and it doesn't have any advanced features because it's fairly old. But I mean, games like Borderlands 2, I got a free Borderlands 2 uh, voucher with it. So if you're interested in seeing some proper good gameplay, decent fucking 1080p, sexy as shit graphics, mayhem fucking awesomeness. Then, you know, subscribe. I'll bring you plenty of fucking Badlands 2 gameplay. I'll make sure you guys get it. I'll make sure you guys get the goods you want. Fuck it, I'll even do like a porn video of my computer if you want, guys. I don't care. Whatever you're into, that's fine. I'll do it. Just let me know what you want. I mean, this thing is it is a pretty hefty size graphics card. I mean, three slots. I mean, some people think, whoa, three is a bit tight fit that. Nah, it. Fit just fine. Don't worry about that fit. I think now it is. Now we're gonna. Wait, 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 wait. That was nice. Uh, we switched to Blacklight Retribution. Why? Because I could never play this game before. I tried playing this game on my old card on the lowest settings. Didn't even get 20 frames, guys. I know, shit. But with this new card and um, without recording, it's like literally 80 to 120 FPS. And this is on maximum settings, four times a year. I believe I, I usually stick to four times because I, I'm comfortable with that. I don't need all of it. I, I don't really notice much difference. It's sharp as shit anyway. Nice bit of like, tiny bit of motion blur in this game. Everything looks nice. Like, like the, the way the lights like, uh... BITCH! The way the, way the lights, um, like, uh, like, gleam and things like that. It's really nice as you can see, like, these, like, warning road block things, whatever the fuck they are. Like, the way the lights shine and things like that it looks amazing. The explosions, but obviously it's in the physics game, so the explosions aren't quite as uh, amazing as they could be. Well, so anyone who's got a car for you guys, uh, keep, I'll keep going, sorry, sorry. Obviously, you need your two six pin power cables, so if you're interested in this car um, and you do want it, you need two six pin. I had to use the two more like to the six pin. Hey, up, Jeff. Sorry, guys. I've got a square ball nose set in front of me staring, and I want to turn this stuff into shit as soon as possible. So, excuse me. Ah. Basically, Game with Phantom, with the Phantom 2 thermal solution. Cooling's amazing, card is literally quiet. I could probably hear a mouse fart over the sound of this card. No shit. Um, the box it comes in is nice and stash. It's even got a window, I know. I was impressed. I've never bought anything really like, good for my computer. This is literally the most expensive piece of hardware I've ever owned in my entire life. And it feels great. Okay so guys, um, this is something different. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, those of you who are interested in seeing Borderlands 2 gameplay, um, let me know. Drop a comment, subscribe, like the video, and um, 
message me, you know, do what you like. Just let me know that you want it and I'll do it. Um, I will be like, if I'm not working or I'm not a uni or anything like that, I literally will drop the video on here, the first one, like straight away. As soon as I download that game, I'll, I'll literally get on that stuff. Like, I'll get up between the morning and just download it, so as soon as I get up, it's ready and I can download some shit and get this gameplay ready for you lot. So you can see some awesome physics gameplay on what is righteous and also known as the 660 Ti Phantom. Okay, the main reason I made this video guys is because literally I haven't found a single Phantom 660 Ti Phantom video on YouTube and um, there's barely any 660 Ti videos at all. I'm, I, I mean maybe it's because people might not necessarily be interested in but I seriously recommend saving £70 on a like I was going to get the EVGA 670, the following one, but then I realised that to gain 10, 10 FPS in most games, maybe in 15, it won't worth the extra £70, plus my budget is a bit limited. But if I can get an i7, get someone to buy me an i7 for Christmas, and a better move board, then maybe I'll gain those 10, 15 FPS. You know, she could get it. So yeah guys, let me know what you think, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to hit, hit up some Borderlands 2 gameplay, be sure to drop me a message, I'll see you guys soon.